Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia. So today I'm going to talk about how you can use your iPad or university specifically. So let's just get right into the apps that I'm going to use for school. So first of all, I have the iPad Pro with the magic keyboard and also the apple pencil so that's what i'm using i'm just gonna start and tell you what i do with my ipad for school so basically i started with doing a work designated home screen so basically with ios 15 you can just change your home screen based on what you need it for and it just appears when you want it to so i'm not sure if i did it on my ipad but i did it on my iphone that i basically put the location of my university in there and every time i go there my phone automatically puts on the other home screen it just has the things on there that i really need so basically this is just the home screen that i created on my iPad, I'm probably still gonna change it a little bit. Basically, the app that I use the most is actually GoodNotes. So I use it for my planner. I actually downloaded a planner. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it in the description box. It is like, you have to purchase it. It's not for free, but yeah, I'm gonna link it if you want it. So that's that then i did like folders for my school for the semester for the days that i needed and we have an online portal where the professors put the whole material on and i just tried to download all of it my major is actually media and communication my minor film analysis but the only thing that i've had till now is film analysis because i just started yesterday um so yeah i have all of this stuff in all of my notes so yeah that's just what i wrote down yesterday and i think it's going pretty well i wasn't sure if i wanted to really handwrite everything or maybe use the apple magic keyboard instead because i wasn't sure if it would be easier maybe or faster if i wrote it with the keyboard but i'm feeling pretty good and i feel like when i write it down like myself i already kind of remember it because like i did it and it's not just clicking stuff but yeah maybe it's just psychological and it's not really like that but that's what i use for my notes then i maybe also want to download notability i've heard a lot of good things from that but for now i just have good notes if i need it i'm gonna download it and i'm for sure gonna review it for you so yeah, let me know if you want a review on notability then another really good app is actually this app here called timetable so basically what this does is you can just put the blocks in where like your classes are just kind of create your timetable and you can move it around you can just put in the time and the colors and the day and so it moves around really easily so you put it on thursday it just yeah it moves and it's very easy but actually i have not updated it so i'm not even doing this class anymore um but yeah basically that's my timetable for now there's probably still going to be a few changes but i think that it's really handy to have that i also have it here in a widget um so yeah it basically just shows me what i have which lectures and classes i have that day so i think that's really handy another app that i really use is notion I actually downloaded a dashboard that was already done. I did not do this myself, but I'm using it myself. So <laughs> it really works well for me. But yeah, if I can find this, I'm gonna link it in the description box and you can download it as well if you want to. Basically, the thing that I use the most is this school page. So if I click on it, you can basically see my schedule again, like my timetable. I put it here as well, but the first thing I did was put it on the timetable app. 
so it was very easy to see what classes you have so i still think that that one has a much better representation of what your classes actually look like than on notion here because it's just like not designed to be like a timetables but here you can actually also like put all of your assignments and exams in um so basically you can put if it's like an exam or if it's like an assignment then the waiting like pass fail how many credits you get the date where like the exam is gonna be put a note i just put the other exam like if you get to do two exams i just put it here and then down here i actually put all of my courses if you click on this for example you get to this page here and then you can link to all of your notes so basically you could put pdf files in here so yeah you can add a file but i still don't have that many notes so i'm not gonna do that yet i'm probably gonna have to make pdf files out of my good notes notes <laughs> but i'm not quite sure i still have to figure out exactly how to do it but if i put it here i have it all in one place and yeah you can also like copy the yeah course syllabus into here if you have one and then basically i have not done this yet but basically you can like do learning objectives and also grade calculator which i don't think i'll need and there's also an exam prep i have not really used these things yet i just think that this is very handy here so i think i'm gonna use that in the future but the rest i have not really done too much yet the next thing that probably a lot of people know already is quizlet um i don't think i'm even yeah I'm not, I'm not logged in yet yeah if you don't know what quizlet is it's just basically an app that you can make flashcards in i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it yet for my university course but i used it in high school a lot so yeah i think it's a good app so i just wanted to keep it and then i also have zoom on here which yeah basically i think everybody knows what zoom is by now um we also have some classes online so i like to have it on my home screen that is designated to my university and then i actually don't have this on here but google keep is another thing that i actually really like i use it mainly on my phone so i'll just really quickly show you on my phone what google keep is so basically you can just have some really cute notes so basically it just yeah it just forms a new sticky note kind of um so i really think it's a cute way of making it look better and yeah <laughs> i just like google keep i've started using it recently i cleared out all of my apple notes because I just could not find anything in there anymore. I basically moved everything that I had on Apple Notes to Notion because I like I can organize it a lot better on there. And the little things that I think of during the day, I put on Google Keep and then I transfer it onto Notion as well. So basically, Google Keep is just something that I use to like write down things that come to my mind like really quickly and i just want to write them down immediately now a feature that i think is very handy that arrived with ios 15 is actually that you can copy text from images so i'm gonna show you really quickly how you can do that so i'm gonna show you really quickly how you can do that so let's turn off work mode so that I can go to photos um, and then okay so you can just select it click on it and then copy then let's go on good notes paste and then you have it so you basically just can copy paste things off of pictures so i think this feature is really handy when you like maybe in class and your professor doesn't give you powerpoint slides 
you can just photograph them and then still copy paste them on your notes so i think that's really handy it doesn't just work on ipad it also works on the iphone but yeah this is actually it for this video i really hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i really hope that i see you in my next video bye